Energy metabolism, uh, obesity related disorder markers, etc. Uh, it is something uh, where we started in the, in the, in the beginning of, uh, of establishing our company. And, uh, and we, Leptin Eliza Kids, Leptin was the first discovered uh, Ripokine. And, uh, bio, and we are proud that BioVendor Eliza was the first uh, commercial uh, Eliza kit on the market. And we have also another, a lot of uh, worldwide priorities uh, in other products. We have uh, a big number of publications referring to the use of ELISA kits for, uh, for adipokines and, uh, and a lot of prior uh, other priorities. So, please. Thank you. <clears throat> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to talk uh, about energy metabolism and I will start with a brief uh, introduction about clinical background and uh, after that I will continue uh, with uh, selected uh, adipokines and the end of the presentation will be uh, some uh, information about portfolio over overview. Obesity. It's a uh, raising global problem. Um, do you think uh, it's a diagnosis? It could be. When become uh, a hypertension, hyperlipidemia, hyperglycemia, or insulin resistant, it is a relevant problem, and we're talking about metabolic syndrome. And with obesity and metabolic syndrome are closely related uh, various metabolic uh, disorders like uh, uh, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, cancer, uh, and uh, others. You can see this picture that uh, the list of the problem could be so long. But uh, now I would uh, like to focus uh, to diabetes exactly. The diabetes, it's a worldwide problem because uh, the prevalence uh, of uh, diabetes uh, are raising. You can see data uh, from International Diabetes Federation. Uh, it's uh, data uh, from 2017. And uh, you can see this uh, value is uh, really impressive. And the estimation of prevalence or, or identified identified uh, uh, diabetes in 2045 will raise about 50% and it's uh, a lot. Uh, in addition, about 30% people with uh, type 2 diabetes uh, problem with uh, cardiovascular diseases. And this uh, uh, area is very important for uh, diagnosis, for uh, prognosis and other uh, things what is uh, needed. So, uh, Vladimir mentioned that uh, we are uh, strong in uh, this field because uh, we, by when they started with parameters uh, for a diagnosis of uh, metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes. And I have se selected uh, four for today adiponectin, leptin, uh, fibroblast uh, growth factor 21, and pro protein convertase uh, subtilis and kexin like 9. So we will start with, with adiponectin. It is uh, a well-known and established parameter or marker for metabolic syndrome and uh, diabetes. Low serum levels predict uh, type 2 diabetes and uh, it is independent of uh, other risk factors, what, what is uh, very important. This value is in uh, pre-diabetes and uh, diabetes and uh, cardiovascular diseases, of course. In a circulation, we can find trimers, uh, hexamers or multimers form. And previous study indicates that high molecular form play a crucial role in uh, metabolic tissue. But recent data or recent study provide or suggest uh, information uh, that measurement of total adiponectin could be used without uh, limits. Maybe you have customer uh, and talking about these things uh, and it's uh, good to know that to <coughs> measurement of total adiponectin is uh, enough. About concentration of adiponectin, uh, 
So uh, low concentration in circulation uh, is was found in obese uh, individuals, and women uh, has a uh, higher concentration than men. But what is uh, uh, crucial, uh, the level of uh, adiponectin concentration uh, for uh, milligrams per liter, because this level suggests a risk of uh, ischemic heart disease, and it is uh, um, a risk for atherosclerosis. Taken together, adiponectin is a good marker for prediction. We are provide two types of uh, ELISA, competitive and sandwich. Competitive ELISA is a fast and it's good uh, for, uh, for serum and plasma and needs uh, a low volume uh, of uh, sample. In the opposite, uh, sandwich uh, ELISA uh, is uh, good for uh, other matrices, but uh, needs a higher uh, sample volume and sensitivity is a little bit uh, uh, better. But uh, clinical routine prefer competitive assay, this faster variant. When we look, uh, to adiponectin discovery timeline, uh, we can see that uh, uh, BioVendor developed and registered the um, CIVD product early, and you can see that this is uh, repeating information. We were the first uh, on the market with the uh, IVDC pr product. References uh, from uh, PubMed uh, talking about uh, BioVendor adiponectin uh, ELISA uh, in 5% uh, uh, cases and I think that it's a uh, good result of uh, our product and when we uh, thinking think uh, that uh, uh, we are provides proteins and antibodies uh, the value will be uh, much higher. So uh, we were the first, uh, uh, and the competitors follows us, follow us, and. Uh, you can see uh, some of them and the data of uh, comparison with competitor assays, and uh, the, the results uh, is uh, good. So. Uh, what is a uh, cast, typical customer for, for uh, adiponectin ELISA? Uh, you can uh, choose from uh, all these uh, possibilities uh, that you see, because uh, adiponectin measurement is still attractive. Uh, discovery of new interactions, uh, for example, obesity paradox, uh, was not done, and others. Uh, it's an opportunity to uh, work with the data of adiponectin. And we think uh, that the uh, value of uh, measurement of adiponectin is important for uh, every study, for uh, every uh, clinical trials. And you can't to, uh, have uh, results without adiponectin if you are focused on diabetes and metabolic syndrome. When I'm talking about adiponectin, uh, I can't miss uh, leptin. Uh, leptin uh, is a uh, uh, hunger hormone. It regulates uh, appetite, uh, food intake, and uh, metabolism. And you can see uh, this picture that uh, uh, the changes of uh, leptin are depends on uh, if you are hungry or not. <laughs> but uh, clinically, uh, the problem with leptin uh, could be when it's uh, continuous uh, concentration of leptin uh, low, it, uh, could be associated with leptin deficiency. And uh, where it's uh, concentration high, uh, it will be uh, uh, leptin resistance. This is note that uh, it was the first, yeah. <laughs> uh, and Vladimir mentioned this information. So uh, leptin uh, and adiponectin, it is, it is uh, both are uh, good parameters, but together it's. Uh, advantage because uh, you can uh, uh, see uh, that uh, the value or the difference uh, between uh, healthy and uh, and uh, people with uh, cardiovascular problem or or others uh, provides a beneficial predictive uh, value and uh, this picture shows uh, 
some example, example of this. And leptin adiponectin ratio is a uh, useful, useful predictor of uh, uh, metabolic syndrome and uh, cardiovascular risk, a stratification and clinical routine. It's uh, definitely true, yeah. Now we move to other parameter, uh, FGF21. Uh, it is an uh, interesting uh, parameter because uh, it has an uh, anti-obesity effect and its concentration significantly uh, increase with number of positive uh, signs of metabolic syndrome. And it is a good predictor of uh, metabolic syndrome and type 2 uh, diabetes. But strong focus was uh, on FGF21 as a therapeutic utility because uh, it was theory that and some some uh, preliminary uh, results that could be used uh, instead uh, insulin. But uh, the results of uh, study with animal was not confirmed uh, uh, in humans, and uh, currently. We uh, wait for uh, um, results of uh, gene therapy, what is new approach of uh, FGF21. So we have uh, ELISA. Uh, we have, of course, competitor, you know. And uh, what is uh, advantage that uh, our kit uh, was used uh, uh, with in a collaboration with pharmaceutical companies uh, in uh, research of uh, FGF21 uh, as a therapeutic utility. The last one uh, is uh, PCSK9. It is a relative uh, new parameter when you uh, look at uh, uh, discovery decade, uh, you can see that uh, PCSK9 uh, started uh, like parameter for, for uh, atherosclerosis or cholesterol uh, metabolism. And uh, you know, half of planet thinking about cholesterol yeah, and therapy. But the magic of PCSK9 was uh, uh, shown in uh, uh, PCSK9 inhibitors and their effect uh, in a cholesterol lowering therapy. Because uh, uh, some subsequently study shows that uh, uh, positive uh, uh, impact uh, to um, decreasing of uh, risk of uh, cardiovascular disease and uh, after this study started uh, two big uh, studies, uh, Fourier and Odyssey, and both uh, uh, provides uh, uh, very uh, interesting results. The first uh, conclusion I can say is that uh, PCSK and PCSK9 uh, inhibitors uh, could uh, cause the uh, decreasing of uh, HDL cholesterol uh, about uh, 50% and it's much more than statins. But combination of uh, PCSK9 inhibitors and statins, uh, it's the best way because uh, decreasing of uh, HDL cholesterol, it's uh, to uh, required level, I can say, but no uh, lower, uh, that is not uh, uh, good for the patients. And the second one uh, conclusion is uh, very important because it was confirmed that uh, uh, PCSK9 inhibitors uh, provides a reduction reduction of uh, of uh, uh, risk of cardiovascular diseases about 15 percent. It's very very important. But uh, we have ELISA, yeah, and uh, we are not a pharmaceutical company uh, with uh, this uh, um, drugs and. Uh, what we can do with uh, ELISA kit? We can uh, use this kit uh, for therapy monitoring. <laughs> it is very important and big opportunity now because uh, we have uh, this uh, ELISA CIVD uh, marked and uh, we are the only one. No competitors uh, could uh, provide uh, CIVD ELISA. And, uh, 
What we did uh, additionally that uh, uh, we um, cooperate with uh, St. Anne's uh, University Hospital and uh, we uh, changed uh, for this hospital uh, protocol for uh, automated uh, platform and they uh, will measure this uh, parameter routinely. That's about uh, selected uh, adipokines and briefly about uh, uh, our overview. Energy metabolism is a significant uh, part of uh, portfolio. You can see uh, here a list of uh, bestsellers uh, from this topic and uh, the leptin, adiponectin, FGF21 uh, and uh, PCSK9, you, you see that uh, they are on the top and uh, it is, I uh, think, uh, what I uh, wanted to mention, yeah, because uh, they are still attractive and uh, excellent for, uh, for the selling. We have our own manufactured uh, protein and antibodies. And of course, uh, we are provides uh, human and uh, animal variants of ELISA. And if you have uh, some question about uh, the variants, let me know us and uh, we can discuss about it. The last information is about some uh, recommendations how we uh, use uh, our product. We can uh, uh, <coughs> offer a product for uh, uh, metabolic syndrome for diagnostic part for uh, prognosis uh, and uh, of course and uh, adipokines are important for uh, uh, cardiovascular risk and uh, gestational diabetes and uh, preeclampsia and others but if you need uh, information about this diagnosis and uh, uh, association with uh, some uh, some uh, uh, adipokines or others, uh, it's uh, it's uh, good to know from you, and uh, we will uh, happy that uh, we can discuss about it uh, with you. So thank you for your attention. <laughs>